Ah, sugar. I start to pop the oysters open, and they have little small crabs inside of them. I'm freaking out. Ah. Jero, please pack your knives and go. Not doing so well on Top Chef feels like being punched in the stomach. Just every dog has a day, and like today was my day. Nothing's cooked yet. It's going, it's going, Padma. It's so much adrenaline, so much anxiety, so much stress. I'm just standing there looking at the dish like, really? <laughs> this is what you do? First challenge straight out the gate. I gotta say, my least favorite dish was Gerald's. Gerald, that means you'll be facing off in a sudden death cook-off. Yes, ma'am. I feel a little bit disappointed that I lost, but nobody wants to lose the first episode, period. Good luck, brother. Good luck. Guys, turn it up. Go, 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 go. Let's go. Yesterday, to be the first eliminated chef would have been awful. Today, to be the first eliminated chef is an honor because I could walk out with my head held high knowing I gave it 110%. Unfortunately, I didn't bring truffles, so I was eliminated. <laughs> what? Did you bring truffles? <laughs> I mean, you can't really lose with truffles. That's the knowledge of being a veteran. That's, that's what you do when you know your back is up against the wall. I didn't have the foresight to know what I should and should not have. And I don't think that uh, he would have had as much of a chance to win without his secret weapon. Definitely. In Last Chance Kitchen, I thought I would be happy if it was just over. But now I'm like, it's like addiction. It costs you a lot of pain, but you like it. Something is wrong with chefs. Hey, Gerald Nanny. Welcome to Last Chance Kitchen. The first win that I have on Top Chef, so I'm pretty happy with it, but I don't feel too good about winning by default because he liked Annie's dish, the flavor composition, better than mine. Time's up. Oh, my gosh. I'm done. Cheddar. God damn it. Unfortunately, she didn't complete the challenge, so she went home. My next challenge was going up against Sam, another tough veteran. Gerald, what are you making? Celery salad with Alabama barbecue sauce. That's cheating. Barbecue celery. sauce with celery, you dick. It didn't come out exactly how I wanted it to come out, but the flavor was there, and it was still frozen, adding that texture that I wanted to have on the dish. If I had to pick a favorite, Sam's. <laughs> so I end up getting eliminated, but Tom said it was tasty. If you got to go out, I feel like I went out in the best way possible. I take an extreme amount of pride in putting on that Top Chef coat. Only the people who've competed can really understand what it means and what it feels like to be in this elite group of chefs. I feel blessed to be in that situation.